It is the communist war against the free man. One communist on the faculty of one university is one communist too many. Good to meet you. My name's uh, Joe McCarthy. I'm running for Senate. Well, I've uh, never been much of one for politics myself. Funny, <laughs> neither have I. He was the most powerful person in American public life. How do you define McCarthyism, sir? Frankly, McCarthyism means calling a man a communist who is later proven to be one. Farm boy learns early in life that the smelliest jobs are the ones that the nice little boys don't do. He was a very talented political figure. He had a gift for winning, and he had enormous energy. He was really just a charming, gregarious, outgoing Irishman who loved a good time, loved a good story, and loved a good drink. He was more popular than he should be, and it's very hard from this distance to understand why. I mean, he was a little jerk. Are you a member of the Communist Party as of today? Are you a member of the Communist Conspiracy as of this moment? I think he was nothing but a simple careerist and opportunist. <laughs> oh yes, basically everything you've ever heard about McCarthy, you just have to hit the delete button on. If he was half as bad as he, they claim he is, I'd have never worked for the guy. Has anyone asked any of these commies about decency? You're too right, Joe. CIA as an institution came to abhor McCarthy because he accused the CIA of being subversive, which was insane. Any employee of CIA giving information to Joseph McCarthy, anything at all, will be let go immediately. The Army McCarthy hearings were what finally broke Joe McCarthy. Doesn't that make you happy? Well, you can say that's the fate of populists. They live by populism and they die by populism.